Hey everyone, I'm back with uh, another part of this MIDI controller madness. Um, basically, here is Machine Jam. Uh, this is part 10 in my video series of MIDI controllers for uh, Reaper or and or MIDI controllers functioning as control services for Reaper. Um, this is definitely the most complicated one. This one took forever to map and to get everything basically to do what I wanted. So again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try not to waste too much of your time, but I'm just gonna fly through the basic uh, functions of the controller. Obviously transport is what it is, play and record. Uh, these two arrows are marker, previous and next, or um, beginning and end of the project. Uh, tap tempo, loop on and off is the grid button. Uh, solo, solo is the selected track. Mute, mute's the selected track. Uh, select, selects the track and of course the trusty encoder which all of these awesome controllers need to have uh it's got the soft click uh a det detented i think is what what it's called um <laughs> i don't know much about the terminology of it i just know that i like the soft click when you turn it and i like when you know uh you can click it as well so anyway uh this mode is set to zoom horizontally these are four different encoder modes right here this is uh, track scroll, you know, forward and back, previous and next, or up and down, however you want to look at it. Uh, this is the trusty jog by measure. Um, so that is always handy. And with the jog, you can always select an item. So uh, on whatever selected track. So let's see. Uh, for this one, I'll select this item, you know, and then you could duplicate it if you want by a duplicate button up here. You could undo, I forget where undo is right here. Uh, I haven't used this controller in a while uh, because, you know, I just have not connected it in a while. So I'm a little lost with some of uh, what, the bunk what the buttons do and the functionality of everything. So anyway, uh, yeah, the encoder in this mode is jog left and right by measure right here. Track scroll previous and next. Um, zoom horizontally is the headphone and the blue one is uh, transposed by semitone. Now, that is with a custom Reaper uh, project template I made, which is basically, it's called Scale and Chord Play. Um, I use a couple free plugins called uh, Kales by CodeN42.com, I think. Um, and the other one is called uh, Chords with a Z. Um, and basically, they're really awesome free plugins. Uh, and with machine jam you can do a lot of cool stuff with that i'll try to get to that in this video if not i'll do another part um demonstrating that but that's what that blue button is for is for you know uh just scale play it's real easy you know to make like fun ideas super quickly all right so browse obviously is browse uh it's the media explorer um right now i have it docked on the side because i just think it's a lot more convenient over there um you know, this is show hide FX chain on the selected track. Uh, so there it is. Um, this is uh, also show hide FX chain. So you got the right handed encoder, left hand show the thing, um, or left hand encoder. And then you can kind of use, you know, the column here, like I like to do. And uh, these are item modes, basically a trim right edge, which I showed in uh, the Machine Mark III and possibly the Mark II video as well. Um, anyway, the other videos are really handy. Uh, this is glue item, this is split item, lock is insert marker, so you just turn your jog wheel as long as you're in jog mode, and insert marker, insert marker, insert marker, previous and next, obviously. And uh, let's see what else. Um, over here, uh, plug and focus, which I demonstrated in another video. Let's say you have two, um, you know, uh, plug in windows open, like these two. What focus does is obviously focuses between the two. Uh, toggle windows, I use this as a, you know, just close all floating windows thing, really handy. Um, uh, aux is uh, quantize, you know, the same thing as the uh, the machine controllers, um, the Mark II and the Mark III. Undo and redo are control and auto, you know, just easy. You know, since they're a pair, I thought it would be cool to have undo and redo right there. Um, note repeat is uh, track arm. 
So obviously, you know, I'm using the uh, cursor pad or the, uh, you know, the directional pad to go track up and down. And when, when it's uh, left and right, that's the set time selection start and end point. My, one of my favorite things uh, to do is there's left button set time selection start, right button set time selection end. Same thing here, right? Now for some reason, oh yeah, there we go. Okay, I got it. Um, right, so when I make a time selection, as long as you do it, you know, uh, it like the right way, whatever, like sometimes you have to hit the button twice, you can get the cursor or the, the playhead to jump right back to the beginning of the time selection, which is really handy. As I say in all of my videos, I should call them really handy parts one through 10 um, so far. <laughs> So anyway, uh, up here is uh, what I call quote unquote the clean function. It just basically just zooms into your entire project or zooms out to your entire project. So wherever, you know, um, obviously marker three is kind of over there. So basically, you know, uh, that's like where, where the whole project stops like item wise. Um, so really handy. So if you have this zoomed in a lot and then you click clean, it just kind of zooms out so you can see everything that you made up to a certain, you know, wherever the timeline uh, stopped with your items, uh, really handy. So cycle FX, I've demonstrated this in the other videos. If we have a track with two effects on it, such as this, um, you know, it just basically cycles between them. So you can control the parameters of that one or that one, and then you can close it with the FX chain button. Clear is basically uh, a delete, um, you know, delete or remove. So basically if I have that item selected and I hit clear, um, well, right now it's selected to the track, which we don't want, but if I scrolled over to the item and hit select and then clear, whoops, I'm on the wrong track. There I am. And if I hit clear, boom. Well, it's not, again, it's not supposed to delete one selected track. It's supposed to delete the item. So let me click directly on the item. There we go. So that's usually how the clear function is supposed to work. You select an item, you know, you delete it. It basically works exactly as the delete key on your computer keyboard. Um, and duplicate obviously is duplicate. So if I have this item selected and I do this, duplicate, duplicate, undo, undo, All right? Easy breezy. All right, so everything else. Uh, this is page one. This is direct track select of tracks one through eight and then nine, six uh, through 16. This is a chromatic, you know, drum grid uh, starting at C1, which is what most, you know, drum uh, plugins, you know, map to. Um, this is C major right here. I think C one or two, I can't remember. Um, and then this is A minor. So the green is uh, C major, the purple is A minor. And uh, pa nope, not that. Page two. Uh, I think these are marker, direct marker access one through six or previous and next marker. Yeah, uh, that one's not mapped correctly, I think. I'll figure it out. Anyway, so like I said, I haven't used this controller in a while. So there's definitely some uh, mappings that are wrong, but I will fix that before um, I, or right, right after I upload this video. So uh, this right here is regions one through eight, um, if memory serves me correctly. So basically if you make a region, just direct access to regions one through eight. Uh, this is select um, previous and next item on the, on the selected track. So I'm just kind of going through the items and the cursor goes to the beginning of that item, really handy, just like move item on the other controllers. Um, this is delete all markers. This is delete all regions. So that's cool. Number three, I forget what that is. Uh, possibly um, a setting for playtime. Um, the, uh, uh, what was I gonna say? The, yes, playtime. Um, it's that uh, Ableton Live style session grid for Reaper that Helgo Boss made. Um, really nice plugin. Um, it hasn't been updated in a while, but I think he's gonna uh, tweak it a little bit because he's been more active on the Reaper forum really handy so playtime's cool it's just literally like an ableton live session grid for reaper so that's what that page is uh page number four uh basically since uh the machine jam has text you know uh on the faceplate undo redo that's actually undo and redo 
Uh, quantize and quantize 50%. I, I, I don't have it set to quantize and quantize 50. I think I have it set to insert MIDI item and something else. I forget. Whatever. I got to consult my guide. Semitone up and down uh, per item. So if you have a selected item like that, semitone down, semitone up as you can see it. Uh, semitone. I think I said tone. I'm very tired, by the way. I just wanted to do this because this is uh, this needs to get done. Um, this is octave up and down. So if you have an item selected, you know, pitches it up an octave, pitches it down an octave. Very cool. Um, down here, I forget what those buttons do. Uh, oh, this I think this is automation stuff. So this is I think uh, uh, envelope dialog of the selected track. Yes, it is. And then this is like uh, you know read whatever i don't remember the order but it's all written in my guide it's all the automation modes trim read uh latch you know uh record or write you know automation that kind of stuff so that's cool um number five this is really handy this is just the major scale um and a bunch of octaves so if i have this um plug in uh, let's see right here selected So it's just good to just kind of bang out some, you know, ideas. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, the free plugins Kales and Chords with a Z, you could map any of these white key major scales, such as C major. Obviously, that's the only white key major scale. Um, the you you could map that to like minor, to pentatonic, to anything else. So it's really handy to to just have a bunch of scales that are all white keys and then you could you could map them with with those uh, specific plugins. You'll see it in another video or in the next video that I'll make. So this we'll call this machine jam part 1. Um so yeah, really handy. And then number 6, I think this is possibly um the Mega Baby step sequencer for Reaper. So I got you know, again, all the uh, C major scale in five different octaves. And then I think these are mapped to like really low notes. So you could change your mega baby patterns, um, basically patterns one through 16. So really handy there. Obviously I always say really handy a bunch of times. So this uh, page seven is obviously A minor. I think it's A minor. Yep. So A minor. And then same thing, the pattern's up there. So again, uh, useful with Mega Baby. Page eight is basically Mega Baby transpose. So you can transpose, you know, up by semitone or down by semitone. And I just left it like in the basic uh, grid. Up here, I think is the patterns, I think. No, 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 this is regions, I think one through eight. So you could like use Mega Baby with Reaper regions. It's all like insane, uh, you know, stuff that I haven't, messed with honestly in over a year um but i kind of mapped it all and i went crazy with it and it was a lot of fun and then i kind of forgot exactly how some of the stuff worked but it's very cool and it's awesome and like i said machine jam is definitely the most involved controller that i mapped for uh use with reaper um so yeah that's that and that pretty much covers everything in there and I'm going to do part two and demonstrate um, another machine jam uh, template, controller editor template called chord play or scale and chords. And then y you'll see. So anyway, next video. Um, thank you for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, I don't have any flashy, you know, subscribe animations or anything like that. But if you find this useful, please subscribe. Please like the video if you think this is cool or if you're like a Reaper MIDI nerd like myself. Um, and you know, uh, yeah. And, oh, I'm trying to also think of a sign off on all of my videos. It's basically like wear a mask, be awesome and kind to each other always. And I will see you in the next video. All right. Peace.